I got into the aviation industry. Well, I, 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 the seed was planted back when I was five years old, watching the old uh, program in the 1950s called Sky King. I think there's a lot of aviators fell in love with Sky King, and he was my hero. And at that point, I told my parents I want to drive airplanes when I grow up. So the seed was planted, and uh, I continued with that dream, and I went to college, and I got into Air Force ROTC, and my parents really didn't have enough money to pay uh, for flight training, so my only option was the Air Force. That's the only option I knew of, you know. And so I got into Air Force ROTC and uh, did well there. I was able to uh, get a, a pilot training slot, and I was off from there to uh, pilot training Advanced Air Force Base, Oklahoma. Probably the highlight would be is uh, winning the Dedalion in 2005 for uh, heroic actions uh, for an in-flight emergency. One of my engines caught on fire um, after takeoff out of Miami, and uh, we were able to bring it back and land it safely. And that's probably the highlight. It's nothing you want to uh, work toward, but <laughs> it's nice to have the award for being safe. As I look back over my career, I have 30 years of flight experience. And I looked at the prospects of uh, doing a lot of fishing and golfing. And I said, well, do I want to waste that 30 years doing that? And I, I, I was aware of the program here at Florida Memorial. I knew that uh, my predecessor was going to be retiring. And uh, I said, you know something, I think that's what I'd, I'd really like to do. I'd really like to, to be a part in some young person's life. Uh, to, you know, to make their uh, flying dreams come, come true because I can still remember the first people in my career as, as a pilot learning how to fly, the impact that my instructors had on me, and I just wanted to try to have that impact on uh, someone else. So the opportunity was there and I went for it and uh, they hired me for the job and I've, I've just been having a blast so far. The students here, they have an opportunity for two different degrees, a uh, BS degree in aeronautical science with a concentration in flight education, or they can pursue a BS degree in airway science management with a concentration in aero science management. And in addition to that, we offer a minor in aviation safety. So the um, students in the uh, flight program leave with their CFI and probably around 400 hours of flight. And the um, uh, the management students, uh, they're given a, a real solid uh, foundation to move into entry-level positions in the uh, airport management area. So uh, that's what they leave with. I just really encourage these students to uh, keep their mind awake, keep their mind alert, and uh, there's always a danger of becoming complacent. You know, you get used to something and you just become complacent and complacency leads to accidents and mishaps. So uh, they need to stay sharp. And I realize that it's a very challenging program, but uh, I think they'll find that once they make it through this, uh, it will make things a lot easier uh, as their career progresses to stay focused, work hard, study hard, and to develop some uh, um, study habits, self-study habits as opposed to just allowing the teacher to instruct you, you instruct yourself.